Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, we were at the tournament and both Hiromi and Miko tied for first place. And then I went in. Then it was neck and neck. Then eventually I won and I don't have to transfer anymore. Hooray! And now we are going somewhere. I don't even know. The bus ride back home felt like it lasted forever. Oh. Did I go home by myself? Perhaps this is what a conquering king felt like when he marched back into his homelands. Oh. Maybe. Weary, yet exalted. Y'all ended up going back to my apartment. Oh, everyone's going. Okay, cool. We're gonna have a party. I collapsed face first into my lounge. I don't think I've ever been this tired before. Hmm. Wait, I just realized. Would that assistant tell my dad about my girlfriends? Hmm. All I want to do is sleep and give my aching muscles time to recover. That's not going to happen though. Wait, why? I can hear those two barging their way through the door. Oh. Come on, Kata. I know we've worked you harder than that. Now's not the time to be lazy. What? What do you mean? I we're done, I'm tired. Now is exactly the time to be lazy. I don't want to do anything else except bury my face in a pillow. You know, we never actually got to play that Arcadian battle station. I can hear her rummaging through that cardboard box I keep it in. Oh wow, you have Dungeon Rumbler 2? <gasps> That's my favorite! Dungeon Rumbler 2? We haven't played that in years. Oh, I know. When was the last time we played with an Arcadian battle station at all? Let's play it now. Aw, well, you two can play. I'm just gonna pass out. Sure, go ahead. I'm not even really here right now. I can hear the two of them jumping onto my lounge and settling in. Aw, it's been a hell of a long day for me. But yeah, tournament. But it's over. I'm going to be able to stay here with Hiromi and Miko. Yay! I know that it isn't going to get any easier from here. If I want to stay, I'm going to have to do better as a student. Yeah, you have to. Or else you're going to get kicked out and get transferred away. I can't afford to just not care about it anymore. But do I really want more study sessions with these two? Uh, I'm going to say yes. It's probably going to be one disaster after another, but I don't mind, as long as it's with them. Yeah, see? I can feel myself drifting away from the real world. Time for sleep. Hiromi, you stole my power up! Miko's thunderous yelling is enough to make me leap out of off the lounge. It landed at my feet. How is it your power up? We're supposed to share. I get one power up, then you get one power up. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to work for teamwork. Maybe the power up wants to spend more time with me than with you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? We aren't talking about the power up anymore, are we? I already know what Hiromi is alluding to. Well, I'm going to take all the power ups now. I'm going to be fine when the boss comes. Oh, well, yeah, if you have all the power ups. Then I'll just take the power-ups too. They're as much my power-ups as your power-ups. Oh, look, a spare life. Ha, not this time. Damn it, Miko, it was mine. Maybe the extra life wanted to be with me instead. You two have fun. I barely mumbled that as I stumbled towards my room, closing the door behind me. I collapsed onto my bed. How are those two still going after the tournament? I will never know. Shouldn't they be exhausted like me? I'm still nowhere on their level after all this time. Yeah, they have so much energy still. But I don't mind. I love both of them. I can see that with no shame or hesitation. There's still one thing I needed to deal with though. But that can wait for the morning. <gasps> Talk with my dad. For now, I'd just like to get some sleep. 
hope that Miko doesn't start yelling too loud. Yeah, I mean, that did wake you up. Whew. There's one last thing that I need to do. My dad would already know the results of this swimming tournament, even though he couldn't be there. Yeah, he kind of finds out about everything. Well, I mean, he did have a system, but he usually has, like, strings to things. Now is the time to finally tell him what I've wanted to say to him. Hiromi and Miko are still asleep. I better not wake them up. As I slowly put in the numbers, I can feel my hands shaking. This is such a huge step for me. Come on, you can do it! I've always been a coward who's avoided conflict. Hmm, that's a lot of people, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta do it and go for it. I can freely admit that to myself now, but now, more than ever, I need to actually dive headfirst into conflict. Forget about people's expectations. Forget about all the other garbage that people have been laying on me my whole life. Yeah! It's time for me to start doing things for myself. Woo! Woo! It's getting me excited. For you. Woo! If I don't, I'm never going to get any fulfillment out of life. Let's just hope that he picks up. I think he will. It rings for a minute or two before I hear someone pick up on the other line. A minute or two? That's a, that's a long time. Hello! Keda! Hello, Dad. Just thought I'd call you. We really need to talk. Oh, about the tournament? It's more than that. He pauses, clearing his throat before he continues speaking. So, you won the tournament. He does not sound particularly happy about it, though. Thanks. That's right. You're going to make good on your promise, aren't you? Well, I would like to. I still think a private tutor would be... No! Go silent for a moment. No? What do you mean by no? No, Dad. I don't want a private tutor. Why not? Don't you want to succeed like your dad? You never got it, did you? He's taken aback by that. He's not used to hearing me speak my mind. I... What do you mean by that? What's gotten into you, Kida? It's not what's gotten into me. It's what's been here the whole time. Yeah, you tell him. Did you ever ask me if I wanted to be a great student? Did you ever ask if I actually wanted to be some kind of big shot like you? You mean, you weren't incapable. You just didn't want to? That's exactly what I'm telling you. All these years, you just decided what I should do with my life. You never asked me what I wanted for myself. Maybe I could have been happy just being average, you know? But why would you want to be just average? Because it would be my own choice to be average. Yeah. Dad, I know you've meant well for me over the years. I have not doubted that once. But please, listen to me. I don't want to live in your shadow. I want to be me. I want to choose my own path. Woo! That speech gave me some shivers. When you told me that I would have to leave the swimming club inside, do you know how I felt then? I... You don't. You didn't know how I really felt this whole time. But that's not your fault. I should have said something. Yet, yeah, finally! Oh my goodness. So, I've lived my entire life in your shadow. People have always compared me to you and your achievements. They never actually thought about what I wanted either. But I don't want to do that anymore. I'm not happy with it. You're not happy with it. But why should this go on? I think I can hear a sniffle come from my dad. Aww. <clears throat> He's usually not an emotional man, but I think this is getting the better of him. I'm so, so, so sorry, Ada. You're right. I never actually asked you what it is you wanted to do with your life. I just presume that you'd want to be like me. So... What is it you actually want to be? I don't know what I want to be, but I know that whatever it is, I want to choose it for myself. For now though, what I would like is to stay in the swimming club. With my... I can't really call them friends at this point, can I? Dad picks up on it too. Oh, Keda, are you saying that you... Yeah, both of them. I just know the look on his face right now. 
But is that really okay? I mean, yeah, they don't mind. Well, why I normally wouldn't approve of this, and there wouldn't be something I would do myself. You already told me that you want to choose your own path. If that path leads you to disaster, then you will just have to bear those consequences. Yes. And well, I can't complain about your success with trying to find a wife, cause now you have two. But isn't that going a bit far? I mean, they aren't my wives yet. I don't have to get married to them right away, do I? That's when I noticed both of them leaning in to listen to our conversation. I must have woken them up. Oopsies. What wife? Your dad thinks that we're going to, to get married. Who's that I can hear? Aren't they both here? They are, Dad. They both quickly leave the room, leaving me to talk to him alone. You told me before that they were just friends. Look what happened there. Your old man can predict a few things, Keda. The tone of our conversation is a lot like older times. I don't hear that weariness in his voice anymore. Wow, he kind of flipped back to that really fast. Are you sure you're going to be able to handle two, though? Your mother is more than enough for me. Well, I mean, you have a lot of work, so I mean, that's kind of understandable. Don't worry, I've been able to keep up so far. I mean, it's only been a month. You say that now when you've got the fires of youth burning. That won't last forever, though. So you're going to end up lagging behind them sooner or later. Then I better enjoy this while I can. Damn right you should. That's why I was so worried when you didn't show interest in anything. Wait. You thought I didn't like girls? I was so scared that you were going to end up not doing nothing and ultimately lead an unfulfilled life. Oh, oh that. I thought you needed a nudge in the right direction. That's why I pushed you so hard, Keda. But by doing that, all I achieved was the exact opposite of what I wanted for you. I've been so stupid. Oh, oh no! I accidentally did that. You, you can pause. The episode and go back. I I made a big boo boo. Don't blame yourself, Dad. The only way you could have known is if I said something about it. That's right. Should have said something earlier. I was scared that you wouldn't have cared either way, even if I told you the truth. Don't ever think like that again. I cared about you more than anything else in this world. I guess even though we spent our whole lives with each other. We still don't really know what the other thinks. He laughs to himself a little bit. I'm still as much of a presumptuous fool as I've always been. Well, now that we really know what we both think, perhaps it's time to make a fresh start. That's a good idea. Knowing him, he's nodding to himself right now, one hand on his chin like always. Sounds great to me. I want you to know, son. I'm proud of you. I always have been, always will be. You took a stand for what you actually believe in, instead of just pretending that you agreed with me. It takes guts to choose your own way. You are far more mature than I would have ever guessed. <laughs> that's that's so beautiful, thanks, Dad. I can't help but laugh. Having angst like this can't be mature, right? Don't worry about it. We are moving past that now, so don't ever think about it again. Anyway, I really need to go. Before I do, though, I want you to know, I love you, Keda. Don't ever forget that, okay? Not a single day goes by where I'm not thinking about my son. I love you too, Dad. I don't want you to think that I've hated you over all these years. I know you only wanted the best for me. I'm glad you understand, Keda. And I'm really glad my only son doesn't hit me. I'll see you soon. I think we really need to catch up. I'd like that. You should bring your two uh, friends as well. I will. Goodbye, Kada. Bye, Dad. As he hangs up, I can't stop myself from smiling. It's finally over. I'm safe. I'm actually really happy for Kada right now. Like I'm tingly. Ooh. We get to stay in this town, and more importantly, the swimming club. Hiromi and Miko quickly return. It sounds like it went well. Are things all good now? They are. He finally knows what I really think. 
I told you it'd be okay. I'm so happy for you. Hiromi immediately tackles me with a hug. Aww. Hiromi, don't hug Keda. I want to hug him too. Miko fiercely wraps herself around me too. Told Tony that I swear she's going to strangle me to death. Oh, that's not good. Can I hug you tighter? Okay. No, it's not what I wanted. No, not tighter. You're strangling him, Miko. You don't know when you hold, when to hold back. What he really would like is a gentle touch. Gentle touch? What do you mean by that? And we'll find out in the next episode of Sakura Swim Club. Hope you guys enjoyed that Kata stood up for himself. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for, wa for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!